Let's try out this question from 2017 AMC 12A problem 17. There are 24 different complex numbers z such that z to the 24th is equal to 1. For how many of these is z to the 6 a real number? So you want z to the 6 to be real and z to the 24th to be equal to 1. Now in my opinion, the easiest way of attacking this is to use the exponential form, is to use the exponential form of complex numbers, exponential form. Because you have this conversion, you have this change in exponent from 24 to 6, so it, it would be the easiest if we have z in exponential form to begin with. So what do I mean by that? Just in case you do not know what exponential form of complex numbers is, let me elaborate on that really quickly before going on of complex number. Exponential form of complex number uses r and data, and r is going to be distance from zero. So r is distance from origin, I should say. And data is going to be the angle from positive real axis, positive real axis. So if you have, let me draw a complex plane with real axis and imaginary axis. And let's say you have a complex number z right here with r, with some distance r, so r is distance from the origin, and zeta, and zeta is going to be angle from positive real axis. And you can write z is equal to, using the exponential form, z is equal to r times e to the i zeta. That's one way of representing z. I'm not going to prove why you can write it like this in this video. To prove it, you have to use some Taylor series and some calculus. I'm not going to get to that in this, in this video. Maybe in some other video in the future. Anyway, so we want to find z in some exponential form. So how can we do that? Well, we know z to the 24th is equal to 1, and we can write 1 in an exponential form. So how can we? Well, so 1 is located right here. So we know the value of r, distance from the origin, is going to be 1. How about zeta? Well, zeta can be 0. You can just stay in the same place, not rotate. Or you can rotate once around. You can rotate a full revolution for data is equal to 2 pi. Or you can rotate twice around for data is equal to 4 pi, and so on. Another way of writing this is data is equal to 2 pi k, where k is some integer. Because data can be 2 pi times 0, or 2 pi times 1, or 2 pi times 2, and so on. So we have z to the 24th is equal to r times e to the i theta, and in our case r is 1. So 1 times, so let me just erase that, 1 times e to the i theta, and theta is 2 pi k. So we can now find z by raising both sides of this equation by 1 over 24. So let's raise both sides by 1 over 24. So these cancel away. And you have z is equal to e to the i, and you have 2 pi over 24, or pi over 12, pi over 12 k. And what, what is this telling us? Well, we, you really don't have to know this in depth to solve this question, but it's very interesting phenomenon. So let me illustrate this to you really fast. What this is telling you is that k can be 0. When k is 0, you have this point, just 1, right here. That's real axis and imaginary axis. When k is equal to 1, you have e to the i pi over 12, which is your, let me draw the unit circle. Let me draw the unit circle. So that's one, and let me just draw the unit circle going around. That looks about right. And you, it's, it's going to be on this unit circle because distance from the origin is one. And you have pi over 12 as your angle. So pi over 12 is theta. So that's going to be the angle of pi over 12, which is 15 degrees. So you have this point right here. And when k is 2, you have e to the 2 pi over 12, and that's this, uh, this point right here. And you have k equals to 3 being this point, k equals to 4 being this point, 
k equals to 5 being this point, all the way to when you have k equals to 6, you have e to the pi over 2 because you have e to the 6 pi over 12. So that's going to be this point right here or just i. And this is going to continue. You're going to keep on rotating around all the way to this point. So you, this phenomenon is going to continue all the way. And I may ask you, so how many complex numbers is it? Well, they even told us there's 24 different complex numbers Z. And now we see why. Because K can be 0, so that's when K is equal to 0. K can be 1, K can be 2, K can be 3. And you see the, all the solutions to this equation, Z to the 24th is equal to 1, is on this unit circle with, and such that each angle between the successive successive solution is constant. So you're going around in this rotation way all the way to k equals to 23 because when k is equal to 24, when k becomes 24, you have e to the 2 pi i because k over 12 is going to be 2. And e to the 2 pi i, that's the rotation of 2 pi, you're going right back to k equals to 0. So that's also k equals to 24. So k equals to 23 is as far as you're going to go. So there's 24 solutions. There's k equals to 1, 2, 3, all the way to 23, and k equals to 0. So there's 24 different solutions or 24 z that satisfy z to the 24th is equal to 1. And this is very interesting. It's showing us that the solution to this equation is going to be the same distance from the origin, and it's going to have the same angle between consecutive, consecutive solutions. And there is a name for this phenomenon, as you, as you may know. We call this root of unity, and unity meaning one. And this phenomenon, the, the, the root of unity is going to be evenly dispersed around the circle in a constant rotational way. So that's very interesting. And now let's actually solve this question. So for how many of these is z to the 6 a real number? Okay, so we want to find z to the 6. And we know the value of z, so let's raise this thing to the 6 power. So you're going to have e to the i, and you're going to have pi over 2k. When you multiply this by 6, raise this by 6, 6 and 12 is going to get us pi over 2. And we know k can be all the integers from 0 to 23, 0, 1, all the way to 23. Let me actually point something out before I go on. You may ask, how about k equals to negative 1 or negative 2 and so on. So let me try this out really fast. So you know z is equal to e to the i pi over 12k. With k is negative 1, you have e to the negative i pi over 12. In, our, in this case, data is equal to negative pi over 12. And you see, data equals to negative pi over 12 gets us this value, k equals to 23, so we are not having an additional solution. It's, we are still getting the same solution you already had. So every single solution to equation z to the 24th is equal to 1 can be found by values of k from 0 to 23. Anyway, so we want z to the 6 to be real. That was the point of the entire question. You want z to the 6 to be a real number. And you can, and we can imagine z to the 6 the same way. When k is 0, you have this value right here, rotation of 0. When k is 1, you have e to the pi over 2i, and that's going to be this value, rotation of pi over 2. When k is 2, you have e to the pi i, and that's this value. And then you have k equals to 3, k equals to 4, k equals to 5, and so on. So that's k equals to 0, k equals to 1 k equals to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and you're going all the way around, all the way to k is equal to 23. And for this thing to be real, you want the value to be right here or this point. So these two are real, while these two values are imaginary. So you want k to be even, because when k is even, you're going to get real output, and when k is odd, you're going to get imaginary output. So you want you, so the question is basically asking us how many of the values between 0 and 23 are even, and that's easy to find out. 
zero is even, two is even, all the way to two times eleven or twenty-two. So you have two times one, two times two, all the way to two times eleven. So there's eleven solutions right here. Maybe you're not seeing what I'm. Maybe I was saying that too fast. Let me slow down. You have k equals to two times one being the solution. You have k equals to two times two being the solution. Two times three, two times four, and you're going to go up to two times eleven or twenty-two. We don't have to care about two times twelve because that's going to be twenty-four. And there's going to be eleven solutions right here, and you gotta include zero or so. So that's getting us twelve solutions. 12 values between 0 and 23 are even. So there's 12 different possible values of k. So we know the answer to this question is D.